So the first thing I'd like to demo for you guys is uh, is a principal visit and what that looks like. I'm going to have Jonathan Moot, who's going to be my distinguished principal. I will be the, uh, the district executive in this particular example. And a lot of times in our conversations that we're having with principals, we are quite literally going in and we're taking whatever they're going to give us. Uh, we're just sitting there and we're saying, hey, uh, what can you do for us? We really want to make sure that we're trying to understand their perspective, that we're meeting them in the middle, but we want to ask for what we know is going to be effective. And so one of the tools that we created for that is what we call our partner in education card, which I'm going to give each one of you guys. If you were on the fall recruiting training that happened um, on the 27th of July, you probably saw this, uh, this card stock. We kind of just showed it, but I wanted you guys to actually have a physical copy of it. This is a tool that your district executive is using in the field to communicate with principals and show which methodologies are the most effective and why they're the most effective. It is a double-sided card, so you're going to see that uh, infographic on the front and on the back are just some supporting pieces of information from a couple of different studies. One of them's a Baylor study, one of them's a tough, the tough study that the national organization did, but just some supporting documentation. So if you are the person that's having that conversation with the principal, you have the ability to have some backup there as well. Um, reports from the field are that this tool has been very effective so far for our district executives, and it's helping them have the conversations they need to have in order to gain access. The last tool, and I don't have enough of these right now to give to everybody. So DEs, I know you guys have this, so if you just want to hand them to the volunteers, we call this a principal visit checklist. Um, you'll see it on the title. It's a district executive principal visit checklist. It's not to say that you guys couldn't use this, but there are some pieces on here that our district executives are utilizing uh, that are going to be specific to them. For example, those mugs. We have mugs that we're giving to every single principal as a token of appreciation to say thank you. We really appreciate what you guys are doing and helping scout and pride. So uh, we're going to kind of walk through this, and I'm going to see if I can get all of the information on this uh, checklist here, but do it in a natural way so I'm not, you know, asking like I'm sitting here having a, a, a pre-planned conversation, so it can be kind of a dynamic conversation. So I am the district executive. Jonathan is Principal Jonathan. And uh, what's the name of your elementary school? Uh, let's go with Leader Elementary. Leader Elementary. That is a real elementary school. That's actually not the leader uh, was the elementary elementary. All right. Well, there you go. There you go. So, all right. So I'm going to be coming in. Uh, Principal Luke, thank you so much for having us uh, today. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Uh, oh, great. Thank you. I appreciate it. So uh, thank you for just having me uh, to talk about scouting and uh, just about how we've been from a community partner perspective. Um, tell me, if you don't mind, just as a starting point, were you a scout at all? Do you know anything about scouting? Yeah, actually, I was being a scout there. You still are being a scout. Okay, yeah, great. You're right here. Absolutely. Fantastic. That's wonderful. Tell me a little bit about your scouting story. Man. I'd love to hear it. Well, you know, actually, I got my able here in Houston. So really? Very uh, What's your name? Uh, Troop 421. Troop 421. Okay, very cool. I believe uh, there are across Troop 421. Okay, very interesting. Interesting. Okay, so you got your Eagle Scout here. Yep. Talk a little bit. Tell me a little bit about some of the cool stuff you did. I'd love to. You got to go to film or not? Um, who did? Okay. <laughs> Gotta go to film on. There you go. Um, so back, it was, some of it didn't exist back then. Okay. I've been telling it over different camps now for my Yeah. Time. Oh, your son, is he in scouts? Yeah, he's a little, little, uh, well, they brought back the Lions program, so yeah. he's just getting into that right now. Right on. Now, are you a leader? I uh, do. No. Okay, we're going to change it. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's really, really cool. What, what pack are you guys registered in? Uh, pack 438. 438, very cool. All right, that's awesome. So you, I don't need to, to spend a whole bunch of time oh. talking about what the program value is. It sounds like you already know that, so I appreciate that. Um, I did bring this handy game. You didn't bring it. Thank you. Oh. This mug here for you, just to oh. say thank you so much. It's already pre-filled with coffee in there, so, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. so don't spill it. So uh, just to say thank you so much. We, just, we really appreciate the partnership and just wanted to say thank you. So. Um, so if I can, I'm kind of new to the area. I'm just learning a little bit about all the different uh, idiosyncrasies of, of the different schools. Tell me, what, what have been some of the things that we've done really well for you guys as a scouting organization? And what have been some of the challenges that we've done? Well, you know, honestly, not, not much of a challenge. You guys were in the very clean, uh, you know, the you point scout level. Uh, think about yourselves. You're very quiet, respectful. In fact, they even do um, gardening. Oh, cool. And yeah, they right. do a little gardening on the weekends, and then, uh, you know, uh, like Memorial Day, we're going to do flex efforts. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Great. So the pack is really involved. Very much so. That's really, really good. I'm glad to hear that. That was one of the things I just, from my perspective, I just really wanted to make sure that you guys uh, had an effective pack leadership relationship with that, that they were doing stuff here with you guys as well. So, all right. So, do you mind if I talk to you a little bit about how we recruit? Please. Awesome. Um, so we 
we actually, there's a, there's a couple of different ways of recruiting, some of which are effective and some of which are less effective. And so I've got this piece of infographic here, this infographic I'd like to share with you if you don't mind. Um, so what we've done in the council here is we've tested out a lot of different ways of recruiting. And what we found is that some of those methods are more effective than others. And where I'd like to draw your attention is right there in the middle of the general assembly, okay? Um, what I can tell you is I do not want to do this to you, your teachers, or your school, all right? There's a reason for that. Uh, obviously, if we're going to do a general assembly in your school, I'm going to take the kids out of the classroom. We're going to pile them all up. That's going to take about 15 minutes. Then we got to wrap, like, cool them all out. So that's another 10 minutes. And then I'm going to fire them up for, like, five minutes, like, get them bouncing off the walls, get them really, really excited. And then I'm going to send them back to your teachers, which is going to take another 20 minutes. So it ends up taking an hour out of your day of instructional time for me to talk to the kids for five minutes. So I really I just want to be respectful of you guys in your instructional time. I'd like to stay away from that. If, if we can start there as a start. No, I appreciate that. I know awesome. the teachers, so I definitely appreciate that too. <laughs> okay, good. Very good. So what I'd like to draw to your attention then would be on your left, far left, we talk about what we, we call a classroom to classroom recruiting methodology. And for us, what that means is we come into each individual classroom and we talk to the kids for two to three minutes. We try to be in and out rapidly. So can you tell me quickly just how many approximations, fine, how many classrooms you guys have in the school? 38. There's 38, okay, great. So I'm terrible at math. I uh, wish you would have said 40 because I could have figured that out better. But if you look at 38 uh, classrooms times three minutes, that's about 100, it's called 120. So I'll, I can be in and out of your school in two to three hours and I can have you talk to every single kid. So I don't need to be here your whole day. I don't need to disrupt your instructional time all that much for two to three minutes per class. Uh, but this opportunity gives us the most effective way to sit in front of kiddos and, and really get to connect with them one-on-one -on -one and provide them with the invite to come to that sign-up night like the following night. So I guess what I'm asking is that something that's conducive for you? It, it does sound tricky. I do like the idea. Two okay. three minutes is a very small amount of time. Right. But are you I mean, are you okay? Is it you or one of your staff that are going to each class? Great question. Uh, it could be one or the other. So it would be either the volunteer that you guys know that's here in the school uh, that, that runs this pack, or it would be a member of my team. Uh, so somebody that actually works for the Boy Scouts of America here in Houston. So it'd be one of those two people. Uh, but we would we would notify you ahead of time who it's going to be, just to make sure you guys uh, if you guys need it, obviously they've got to check in. But it's going to be either a leader from the pack that serves the school, or it's going to be with somebody from my school. Okay. So yeah. how does that sound? That sounds pretty okay. I like awesome. this idea. We're very close to the pack leadership, so we okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put that note here that pack leadership may be the best people, but we'll just make sure that no matter what, uh, that we've got the right person to play. Um, can I ask you, who, who do you think will be the person that will actually let us in the school on the night that we come to do the sign-up here in the school? So there's a new guideline. So you're going to be on the tail end of what we call club leave line. Okay. It's the after school program for the free kids. Okay. Pick up the okay, great. Um, so what time is that? 6.30. 6.30. And who's the person that I would just check in? I just want to make sure I'm checking with the right place. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know their names. Okay. They're going to be in the cafeteria. Okay. okay. They've been instructed to let you folks in at 6.30. Would you mind if, would you follow up? Would it be okay if you followed up with an email and just said, hey, this is the person? I just want to make sure that we're connected. That's cool. Absolutely. That makes awesome. Sense. Thank you. So what we want to make sure that we're doing is giving the kiddos that opportunity to, to get engaged and then to give them an opportunity to sign up. And we know that as it, as Eagle Scout, you probably signed up at your local elementary school. And so uh, we know that the most effective place to sign kiddos up is actually in the elementary school where they go to school. So we're actually trying to have, we have almost... Oh gosh, 600 something elementary schools in Houston, 6,800. So we're trying to have this sign up night wow. at every single one. Um, what would be a good date for you coming up where you guys uh, could facilitate that? Where we come in after the rewind, we're here at 6 30, and we'll probably be out of here by 7 30. Okay. Um, so right now, you know, we have a policy at South Carolina that you can't come in the first two weeks of instruction. So, okay. Uh, school starts on the 22nd. Okay, so for a my calendar, that's okay. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, so the first week uh, would be uh, September, the week of September 7th. September 7th, okay. Any, uh, any doubt of those? So September 7th is a Wednesday, can we do that then? Yep. Okay, awesome. And you said, so we'll come in at set, at 6.30. Um, so if I had to sign up night at 7 and I'm 
probably 20 to 30 minutes, but maybe I'll be out by 45 minutes, 745 is okay. Well, that's probably fine. Okay. But uh, just so you know, with, uh, for our facilities, you go through Gene Roach. Let me okay. let me write that down. Great. You know what? I actually think I have Gene's uh, contact information. So that's awesome. Okay. All right. So we already said the scout talks were cool, and that's where I'm going to come in and speak to the kiddos. Yes. Um, what time would you want in here? I, uh, what I'll tell you is the most effective day is the day before the sign plan. So that would be September 6th, which is a Tuesday. Yeah. What time should I show up? Um, in the middle, obviously. Somewhere in the middle. About, you know, stay away from yeah. the entry and the exit for kids. So let's... Uh, like 9 a.m.? Um, you know, a little bit later on. Maybe like 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay. All right. And would you guys be okay if I had, like, a little half sheet? Um, invites to hand them that day up. Perfect. Perfect. How about I'll pay a flyer? You guys are okay with us putting a flyer in the folders? I'll have them here a week ahead of time. Perfect. Awesome. What day do those go home? Uh, they go home every Friday. Right. Perfect. All right. And who would I give those to here at the office? I hope it's all right. I'm saying you know, it's not enough for kids. I have a Halloween right here. <laughs> so, uh, no, I would uh, prefer if you hand them off to our uh, front desk of Tammy. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And the PACs have in October, they have a PAC meeting that they um, that, that they hold where they invite people to come back. It's kind of like a second sign-up opportunity. Would you guys be cool with me putting one more flyer in the flyer folders at sometime in early October? Absolutely not. Is that cool? Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, second week of October is okay? Perfect. All right. I'll double-check with the PAC and make sure that's still just have time because that's still for the second so PAC. All right, just a couple more questions. I know you're a busy person, so I want to get out of your hair. Okay, for you use yard signs? Um, so, yes and no. So, okay. if you put them up, I want them uh, up in the morning and uh, we'll go to the end of the day. So, just the day of? Yes. Okay. Uh, and you can do it that week. The week leading before? Yes, because we have uh, our maintenance people come through and sometimes they just turn them over. Okay, gotcha. So, car rider line is okay? Uh, what would it be? Uh, just kind of where the kiddos get dropped off in that car rider line, or sorry, right, like yards. Yeah, yeah, yards. Oh, yeah, remember. Yes. Yeah. And you said the week of. Yeah. Yes. What about physical posters, like a poster on a door? Are you guys okay with that? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to ask for things to go off, but I just want to make sure they're on the same page. Not completely understand. No posters. Uh, unfortunately, no. Nothing outside the suburbs. I was just getting rid of some walls. What about? I, I'm having some. Some of the principals are cool with us putting something on the marquee. It's not an endorsement so much as it's a sign up for scouts tonight kind of thing on the marquee. Is that something you guys think you guys could do? You know, I, I it's something else we'll do. Yeah. I don't see why not they're doing it, but should be able to do it. Okay, who do I need to talk to? So um, you know, same same person, Tammy. Tammy. Okay. She'll she'll get the request to me and then uh, we'll put it through our department. Perfect. We're usually just doing it a couple of days before. Oh. About the same time as the yard signs. Perfect. Awesome. Right. And I guess the last question I've got from an advertising perspective is Stickers for students. Is it okay if I bring a sticker to give it a kiddo uh, that would have the sign up information, or do you guys not feel comfortable with that, or is that okay? I, I would prefer that you uh, maybe do make groups of 25 and hand off the teachers so they can put more on it. Okay, okay. Sure. Yeah, I can do that. Because I can only imagine having one person do it. Can you imagine if you run up and down the, the class? That's no worries. We can definitely do that. In fact, we're pre printed on sheets in groups of like 20, so I, that's no worries whatsoever. Perfect. Awesome. Well, Principal Boone, thank you so much. This is all I've got. Is there anything else that I can do or our PACs can do to be of service to you guys? You know, I'm glad you brought that up. Actually, uh, so one of my colleagues over at Hamilton Elementary School was telling me that uh, they actually had an Eagle Scout project done for one of their schools. It was uh, yeah. kind of a alcohol thing. Oh, yeah, right on. That's yeah. awesome. Is that something, I mean, do I want to do something like that? Or, like, we would love to. If you guys are interested in that, I'd love to get you guys connected with. Uh, our district commissioner in the area, He's, he'll be kind of partial in understanding of what kind of uh, Eagle Scout projects are coming up. And if you guys have a request for that, he can push that through to our, what's called the district advancement committee. They're the ones that are working with the kids that are getting ready to go into their Eagle Scout projects. Okay. And we can make a request. It wouldn't necessarily come through me. It would actually have to go through the kiddos, right? That would want to be something that they want to do the project. Obviously. But let me, I'm going to write a note for myself just to put that down in an email to connect you guys. Uh, so that way you can have that uh, conversation with him. Okay. His name is John Johns. John's Johns. John Johns. John Johns is really easy. Norwegian. Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. But I'll make sure I connect you with him. All right.
advice from Principal Luke. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And if there's anything at all that I can do to be of service myself, please just don't hesitate to reach out. Right? Do you, uh, do you have a card? I do have a card. Right there. Oh, thank you. Thank awesome. You. Uh, thank you. Here's mine. And, ah. uh, let me write the Kennedy's email on you. Perfect. Thanks thank so you. much. I appreciate it. Oh, Thanks no. so much for your time. Uh, go ahead. Appreciate it. Sure. You too. Thank you. All right. So, questions on that from a debrief perspective. I know that was probably longer than you wanted the demo, and hopefully everybody can wake up right now, but it's important for you to see the process from start to finish. So who has one of these little pie charts in there in front of them, right? So what's, uh, what's the principal's name? Principal Mook. Anybody remember the name of the school? Leader. Leader, okay. Anybody know, remember how many uh, classrooms they had? 38. 38 classrooms, which if we do three minutes per classroom, that gives us what? About two hours of effectiveness, right? And so I see how I built in an extra hour in there. I said, I think we can be in and out within about three hours, right? That means if I have a little bit of time walking from class to class, or if there's a transitional period where we've got people that are somewhere else, uh, it gives us a little built-in time. I went down and I was really intentional on locking in a sign-up night date because everything backdates from the sign-up night, right? When I put the flyers out, backdates from the sign-up night. When I do the scout talk, backdates from the sign-up night. When I put the yard signs up, backdates from the sign-up night. So that's where I started. What's the sign up night? Notice I stuck away from Mondays or Fridays. So I went to Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Principal Move just happened to give me a Wednesday, so that was great. That was the first day, so I jumped on it. And then I told him, what did I tell him about the scout team? It happens the day before, right? So we talked about that, and we had already had the conversation about classroom to classroom using the pie card. So this is a tool that your district executive can make available to you, um, but you can see it's an effective tool if we walk through and we actually use it, all right? Questions on this before we move on? Yes, ma'am. So you talked about just an individual going into the school and doing scout talks. Correct. Have a team of people. I used to be an assistant. Okay, so fair. I, yes. I used to do a lot of scheduling. So when you talk about coming at 10 o'clock, kindergarten starts lunch probably around 10.30. Uh, great school, watch, yeah. You know, and so then you're going to start running into these blocks of times where teachers are teaching. Then they know you're coming, and then they're kind of holding off on what they're sure to do, so you can show up and see your mind online. So, what if you had teams, of, a team of people who could go in, and you could get three, four, maybe people who could go in and back it up? I think it's a great idea. Um, I will tell you that is the exception and not the rule. Usually, you know, our, our DE staff is, is being called in to do these, but if you have a team that's willing and capable of doing it, that's amazing. Yes, absolutely. Uh, there will be times where we will, as as a district executive team, we'll go in and we will get a school with two or three of us, and we can be in and out in an hour, and then we're off to the next school. Uh, so that yes, it's a great question. Question for everybody here: What are you all seeing right now? I'm sure that some of you all have gone out and had these principal visits, and are they? We're asking for the mood, right? We're asking for the best situation, which is the classroom visit. We haven't done that very well in the past. We haven't stressed that very well in the past. But are you getting yeses and no's out of that? Classroom visits? Yes and no? How about yes? Who's getting yes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And who's getting no's on the classroom visits? Yeah. Getting a little involved. Yeah. Okay. And so if they say no, then we're going to the next best thing on that list, right? I still treat a lot of those four elementaries that they are just having. Lunch. This is how they want it done. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. One thing I'll tell you guys, and this is not a widely known uh, reality, is, is that our team, we are currently getting our team ready to be able to do a flag education program. Um, so we have a, a curriculum, it's a small curriculum, it's not a 45 minute long curriculum, but 15 to 20 minutes where they could go into a specials class. And they can work directly with the kiddos and teach them a flag out of the class. And so that's a that's a, a piece of information that I feel is relevant to a teacher or to a principal because then we're not just coming in and taking, we're actually providing a service and we're educating kids. So that's something that's out there. So if you run into a principal that's really just hardlining, that's a that's a tool that's in the tool belt. Uh, we can teach you guys how to do that as well, but just as a as a notification that that's out there as well. And I know that some of the district, especially the new district executives, don't have that tool yet. Uh, so we're working on making sure that they're going to have that. Yes. I have a question about this. Sure. I'm just a volunteer. Yeah. So, like, in in my district, most of the PACs take care of this stuff for themselves. Right. So is this geared more towards, like, schools that don't have a PAC or... 
this is this is really geared yes towards the needs health, but this is really geared towards uh, districts in the Phoenix district, for example. If you guys have a district executive that was full time in your district right now, your district executive would be out meeting with every single principal, regardless of whether the PAC leadership was in there. And so their job is really to help try to improve that relationship. So if your principals are saying lunch talks is where we're at, they're going to push a little bit back and say. Totally understand. Maybe we can bring this flag etiquette program and we can get into the special spots. And that gives us a little bit broader access. It's providing service back to you guys. But we're also seeing in any school district, we see a variance on how much access they're given. So uh, some of them might say no to yard signs. So that might just be a conversation that needs to happen about how somebody left yard signs up for nine weeks one year. Right? So we need to have that conversation. That's why that's on there. Uh, somebody might say no to stickers. I know there's a, a couple of principals that have said no, they end up getting pressed on the lockers, right? So that might be a conversation we need to have. Um, so it's a lot of these uh, hurdles that we run into. Your executives are taught how to overcome some of these conversations. And if, if I was able to be in Phoenix full time right now, that would be totally having those conversations with all the principals. So the, the thing that I was initially curious about is staying at my school, yeah. because I have had a relationship with it for 12 years now. Yeah. basically started as a tiger. I think David always gave you views sure. if someone from the pack wasn't there. Sure. Like, We'd love to have you there with us. Okay. So yeah, yeah I think, think it's yeah. like if you came in and you're like, who are who? Yeah. Right. Cool. That's right. I said all that stuff up, right? Hopefully, you have that relationship with your professional, so you guys can coordinate that. If they're having a conversation with you, what day would you like to have the sign-up night? So when they go and talk to the principal, they're armed with that information. Yeah. That's not always how it happens, but hopefully, there's that 